Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Bad Mouse Gaming. I am your host Dave, aka Bad Mouse, and we are back at Subnautica for another exciting day. Um, I know there's an island there, and I know there's an island there. That's why these clouds look a little funny. But today we got a signal to track down. I got a few things on my list I want to get done. I want to try to build a little beginner's base over there. Hoping to scan some um, parts because right now we just got the tubes. What was it? Here we go. Yeah, we don't have any rooms yet. I mean, I could build a little base out of that and drop down some things. But, um, I really, oh, I hate doing that. I want to scan me a, um, an actual structure. And I'm hoping we see one on the way over to this life pod. And I want to try to make me a vehicle today. I like to try to get to the sea moth if I can. At least get the vehicle to deployer out there. But before we get started, let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now's an awesome time to do so. Please click that subscribe button down there. If this is something you guys enjoy watching, make sure you click the like button. And of course, let me know if this is the first time you guys are following this game. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think so far. This is one of my favorite games. Um, I will say that again. But here we go. Hello everybody, I was sitting here waiting for the sun to come up, looking at the aurora burn over there, and I watched this planet slowly go through the background there, and I was thinking, and leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, but a planet that close to a world like this, if this, if this was an actual world, intake recommended. yeah, yeah, how high you think these tides would actually be, these I don't think these spiders would be this calm with a planet passing that close. At that speed even. Look how fast it's going. You think nothing would survive the tides of this. Oh look, you can see that cloud there hazing out the, the, the planet. That's how you know there's an island over there. All right, I'm gonna wait for the sun to come up and hopefully we can get started. All right, I've been kind of waiting to get started here for the Aurora to blow up because I don't want to miss that. And um, I don't want to be down deep and try to rush up to the surface and stuff, but I had a recording. Uh, voice logs. What was it? The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Um. Was Caution. it this one? Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Oh, I know it said something. Local scan, short range. Oh, here it is. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. All right, so, hearing that, I've been, I actually... Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, oh, I'm excited. 5, 4, 3, 2, The 
Wow, well, that was traumatic. Ain't no going back now. All right, so we got a um, a radiation suit. We need fiber mesh and a couple leads. The fiber mesh requires where's the fiber mesh? Why don't I see the fiber mesh? Is that something I can't do yet? Fiber mesh? I haven't picked or scanned or collected the thing I need for that. Interesting. So we need to figure out fiber mesh. But um, we're going to go down there. My health is good. Our food is okay. The water. Do I got any more water? I got one. The water is okay. I think it's okay for us to run down there on a quarter of a battery. I guess we could steal the battery from the repair tool or something. But anyhow, let's go for it. I try not to go deep until I get above it because the deeper you go, the faster your oxygen goes down. And this way you can get a good gulp of oxygen before you have to go down and you can go straight down to it. Because we're starting to look a little deep there. We're almost above it and it's it's right there on the ledge, okay. Let's get the old scanning tool out. Integrating new PDA data. We'll have to check that out once we're safe inside our pod and not desperate for water. Oh, is that my sea moth? Is there more fragments around? I really would love to have the sea moth. I'm not seeing any more. Oh. Alright, for the sea moth. There's two more parts. Ooh, they could be down there. I'm not seeing them around here. I do remember the recording saying that the sea moth bay was about to crush them. But it looks like something got in here and tore them open. Let's take a peek down here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, I don't want to go all the way down. Not for a sea moth. Oh, wait, wait, here we go, number two. Yes, yes. We need number three now. What do we got in here? We need that. Open up some doors. We need two more of them.
So I don't know. We're going up. Oh, there it is. Calm down. Calm down. I got it. Jeez. He tried to eat me. Alright, which way? We gotta go this way. Might as well get two of those. My little glider is about to run out of battery and we haven't unlocked the battery charger yet. Uh, so now what we need... Oh, I need that copper ore. So now we're going to have to go copper hunting. But I'll have to build a mobile vehicle bay. Are you kidding me? I have to unlock that before I can unlock the sea moss. Eee! Alright. So, back to the grab trap, at least. Silicon rubber. What did I need for that? I needed the uh, creep vine clusters. Alright, let me go get a bunch of that and stock up on it. I know what I can get rid of. Get rid of you. Inventory space seems to be an issue for me. These things take up four spots. I need to make more inventory, but I have to unlock a suit or something. Um, what do you need from me now? The copper ore. Oh, I was making uh, thins. Fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. If you say so. Alright, so let's answer the phone. Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. 6 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. So we picked up a data bank. from that live pod not from live pod 6 the first live pod we went to there it is Ozzy's log it's the day of the crash I don't know what the heck is happening I'm scared and I'm not going outside there are shadows in the water under the hatch but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens and there's weird looking caves nearby the Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. So that was the logbook that we picked up. 
at the first one we went to. So now we're, let's go check out Life Pod 6. All my health is in good shape for the moment. I'm not seeing it. Do we need to get closer? Um, attached coordinates were corrupted. So this is a photographic data that has been downloaded as an analyst. So we're looking for this scenery here. Let's go look and see if we see any red carpet. And what do I need to do to build the radiation suit? Fiber, mesh, and lead. I got one lead. Silicon. How about not unlocked fiber mesh? I guess not. I see some a um, little bit of red carpet here. I knew it was a good idea to build that second battery. So we might be getting kind of close. Maybe we need to go around about here somewhere. It kind of looks like the photograph, right? Nice little ledge there and some grass. We got some debris here. Thirty seconds. Something's attacking me. I couldn't see what it was. Oh, we, I think we need to go more that way though. But this looks so... Oh, wait a minute, is that it there? No. So this does look like the area though. I see some fragments. There's some good scannable things down there, but I'm not... What is doing that? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. A nice deep hole there. All right, we made it back safe and sound. Now we shouldn't have any problems with food. For a while. We need diamonds. We haven't even seen a diamond yet. We are not even close to that. Wow, we're gonna need a sea moth before we get diamonds. But I need to scan that mobile vehicle bay and I ain't quite sure where to do that yet. Um, advanced wiring kit, we could make that, but we don't need to. What did I need the copper for? Um, the, oh, there we go, the rebreather. I need to empty my inventory.
Let's put you guys in there. And now we can pick you up. All right, that gives us more air, I think. I don't know. So I got to figure out the mobile mobility vehicle bay. I know there's good stuff on the front of that ship. But uh, the fact that I can't find that other. This is Life Pod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So that helps out a lot. Signal location. So now we know where Life Pod 3 is. And this told us that it was approximately 400 meters west northwest of Life Pod 4. No, that don't help. I don't help at all now. So we still gotta wait for four to show up to find out where six is. That is so far away. Alright. Let's do some food. We got this beautiful item here. We got plenty of sea life around here. Look what that does. It just grabs things that are nearby. And once it grabs it, we can just go up here and pick them up. The ones we want. I don't think it's going to get any more of those. Um, bladder fish here. I just cooked that bladder fish. That's okay, it'll still give us some water. We'll eat it first. Alright, now we're full. We got one of these left. We got a couple of them. We got a couple of those. Let's build ourselves one more of those outdoor storage things. And, um... Let's be on our way, see what we can find over there. Alright, that opened up some space. Oh, what do I need to make another battery? Copper ore and two of those mushrooms. All right, now we are set to go. Where'd that dead battery go? Did I take it out already? I don't know where that dead battery went. That one's only got 11%. So we'll go ahead and swap that out now. 
All right, let's head. That way. I lost it again. There it is. Oh, here we are. PDA data. Alright, anything around here that I can scan? Not seeing anything. There was always something cool around each one of these ships. I guess not in this case. PDA data. That's nice. I could just build that and do all kinds of stuff with that. We are looking for some fragments to scan and that might help us pick them out. See what we need to build that. But first, let's check out the new, um... You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. All right, so that's that. Oh, I need two more fragments. Darn. But we have that. <laughs> and we got the laser tool. That's everything new there. Alright, so I still need to build the radiation suit. Fiber mesh and lead. Well, that's not hard. I just need to go get some more creep vines and grab some lead out of the thing. Let's go do it.
Do we have it? Yes, we do. No, we don't. We need two of those. We need one more of those creep vines. Do you believe it? Now we don't have to worry about the radiation anymore. We can swap the helmet on when we get close to the ship. Alright, we are moving right along. So, now I need to answer the phone, I guess. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime? Huh. Alright, so it looks like people are looking for us. Wow, did it get dark out here? Alright, so I'm gonna try to figure out a few things here. I am mainly wanting the mobile vehicle bay so that we can launch our sea moth. But I need titanium ingots and a power cell. We're not close to that either. Jeez. Oh, we got the power cell. All right, so we could do that. But the titanium ingots, yes, yes, okay. So we can build everything. I just got to go find that mobile, mobile vehicle bay. Yeah! Now we're gonna need some stuff for the sea moth now. Where's that at? Do I even... Yeah, there we go. Another power cell. And another titanium ingot and a cup of glass. I think we might be able to handle all that. Let's put you in there for now. 
And let's go out here and deploy that. I want to deploy it somewhere kind of deep because, um... Uh, a lot of stuff and everything. Well, we'll pick it back up and do it later. That ain't what was supposed to happen. All right, so vehicles. We are missing all kinds of stuff here. So let's get to shopping. All right, so I don't know if you heard that, but my phone started ringing. I forgot what I was doing. I did put it on pause, but I think we were building a sea moth and I needed glass. Now, I believe we have it all right. <laughs> yeah, we do. Where you at? There you are. Oh, what to name our new sea moth? The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, here we go. So we just need to do some upgrading on this. We need a uh, moon pool and all that good stuff. But uh, we can go as far as 200 meters now, and we have it's portable air basically. Plus, it's it saves on my batteries with the um, oh, just the sound effects. I love it. So now we can really do some exploring. Did we explore this? Is that a table? Need to exit. We'll keep collecting stuff for our um, little habitat. Oh, now you're on your way. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. These guys need to learn to hang up their phone before they keep talking. Zone, so I need to put my radiation helmet on. We're gonna go down here. Oh, there's a ship down here. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh, we gotta go up a little. Alright. So that's our limit for our ship, but we can go down there and scan all that and probably even get inside. 
100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. The conditions in this gave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Oh, we need to start scanning. Oh my gosh, our air. Come on. We'll have to come back. I don't know what that sound was. Oh my gosh, am I going to make it? Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, that oxygen went quick. Let's do this from the outside. I saw something right there. We're scanning through the wall. New blueprint acquired. Yeah, for the outside here. Oxygen. Where are you at? There you are. Look how fast it's going. I'm kind of afraid to go back inside, even though I know there's good stuff in there. But what did we come up with here? Emerald glass. Stalker tooth. And we got some more rooms too, right? We need to get these depth modules going. But I need the modification room and all that good stuff. Yeah, look at that. We got some good rooms here. So, alright, we can start doing a little bit of base building now. I really wanted the diamonds though. That's what we came down here for. And we got that crazy looking thing. Look at them snake things. Alright, um... Is there any diamonds here on the walls I can reach real quick? Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. Hmm. All right, so I just want to show you what's going on here. We are about this far from the ship. Our life pod's over there, but we are far enough to this side that... When the sun was coming up, I could see the outline of that island. But now I don't see it. But that's okay, because I have chosen a spot to lay down roots. And there she lays. So the idea was is to have it hanging off of a cliff. So when I do get the moon pole in there, you just come right up underneath and right up into the moon pole. Uh, 
Alright, so I built me a little storage, a couple of titaniums. This wasn't too much. I wanted to put up the um the first aid box. But that required like some wiring kits and stuff. Or no computer chip. I think I have that back at the thing. Um yeah, the fabricator, I had everything for that. The battery charger, that requires a wiring kit. So I want to get these two things and then the uh, modification station so that we can build those modules for our CMOS. So I got a lot on my list here I'm trying to get done. But I think for now, I'm just going ahead and grind out and get the rest of my essentials in here. And uh, if I can get enough glass together, I might put a few windows in. But I think that's where we're going to leave this episode. Um, let me check the radio. This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 12. Coordinates attack. Warning Life Pod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, so I'm going to get everything moved over here, build me some few things, but um, I think for now, this is where we're going to leave this episode. And um, next episode, we're going to work on those upgrade modules and see if we can't make that sea moth dive worthy to reach that new place. So, um, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, hit that like button, let me know this is something you guys enjoyed watching. And of course, thanks for watching, see you guys next turn.